Hello and welcome to the video. Welcome back if you're a regular. If you're new here, my name is Nick and I sell stuff on the internet. I thought for today I would have a chat about selling media on eBay. Uh, by media I mean DVDs, CDs, video games, that sort of stuff. I get a lot of questions from people asking, is it really worth the effort? Is there any money in media anymore? And the answer is yes, but it's not as easy as it used to be. When I started selling on eBay, we're talking in the late 90s, a big part of what we did and a big part of my background was working in record shops. So that's naturally what I started to resell on eBay. And back then, selling CDs and videos, as it was then, was huge and you could command really good money for, for most things. CDs were still the predominant format and VHS was and it was just transitioning into DVD. But these days it's a very, very different market. Most people are downloading their music, uh, their streaming films, uh, you know. So physical media has lost most of its value. And then when you add in the fact that there are companies like Music Magpie, Ziffit, We Buy Books, who are turning over media in massive, massive numbers, and they're happy to sell it for tiny margins. It's a very competitive area. But it still works for me. And I thought I'd have a bit of a chat about it. If you have a look in our store, our eBay store, the link is always below our videos, you'll see there's a lot of cheap media. And you might think it's not worth selling a DVD for three or four pounds. After you take out the postage and fees, is it worth messing around? And I take your point. But one thing that's worth mentioning with those is I shipped out an order today that was three individual DVDs, all with postage combined. And that ended up being, I don't know what it was, maybe a £15 order, can't remember. And I just had an order come in of these. Um, so I think that was maybe £4, maybe three or four pounds again. Uh, they sent an offer on that at three pounds and this pair was seven. Um, I can't remember what the total of the order is, 18 or something, whatever that total to. But you get my point. So that then becomes a healthy order. These would have cost me, well, that was 50 pence for the pair at the weekend. These probably owe me between 10p and 50p. Um, so that's one side of it. And then the cheap stuff is not where the money is. The money is in the more obscure stuff that holds its value. And there's no quick way to explain what to look for. I get messages saying, Nick, what do I need to look for that makes good money when it comes to CDs and DVDs? A rule of thumb is obscure is better. Um, I picked a couple of CDs out that we've currently got in our store. I couldn't find many good examples of albums. Most of my decent obscure stuff is gone. Uh, but here you go. B.B. Morris, Zeke and the Wheel. Right? I'm pretty sure nobody watching this has heard of these people. I just took a look on our eBay store and that's listed for £7. So not a, an amazing example, to be honest, but you can see that Obscure is better. Albums that sold in, in the millions are never going to have great resale value because there's so many out there. There's more supply than there is demand. Another example I grabbed off the shelf is that. That's a CD single, but it's quite an obscure one. It's an erasure release that um, I think was imported. It was only released elsewhere, so it wasn't released in the UK officially. And that still fetches £10 quite easily. So there is money in singles, but again, you have to be very picky. Now, going on to DVDs, most don't have much value. I don't know how many times I've said that, but most really don't. But a good rule of thumb or, or a good thing to kind of look out for is obscure TV shows um, that were only issued for maybe a limited period of time on DVD that maybe aren't available on streaming services. 
um, let me show you a few for example the glittering prizes uh, this was a BBC series from mid 90s I want to say 96 yeah so that should be a sort of 13 pound DVD pick that up at the weekend I've uh, got two big box fulls of, of DVDs for five pounds that owes me about I don't know 10 20p uh, another one this is a Jerry Anderson series this is supercar and that should be now I think that was a 20 pound one I was looking these up last night yep good seller this one again we picked this one up at the weekend it owes me about 20 pence this is rent a ghost so a kids tv show from the 80s i'm guessing it was only available on dvd for a limited period and you can't stream it anywhere that we're going to put on for 35 and it owes me 20p so you can see this is where the money is the the three four five pound ones that we have all over our store they're the bread and butter stuff that we turn over regularly or sell in little bundles when people go shopping in our store right and it soon adds up a couple more examples from the weekend that we picked up sicily unpacked again this is a bbc tv thing i think that's about a 15 pound dvd and then video games video games is a very different market uh there's a lot to learn within video games um but some that we picked up at the weekend for example i did share this on sunday silent hill 2 on the ps two has shot up in value um, that's regularly selling for about 50 although mine is very ropey so we'll probably go a bit less because the packaging is quite damaged um, that I picked up three ps2 games right at the end of the day at a jumble trail uh, I paid two pounds for three games and they've been sat on the table all day nobody else was looking at them this was in i said i bought um a load of well a different store uh they said fill up a box with dvds and pay a fiver i managed to squeeze nearly 100 dvds in that box and they had loads of games muddled in this was an interesting one this is an action replay max um for the psp um that should be 10 pounds um and that will pay for everything i bought on that store and then when you consider most of it will be three four five pound items they won't owe us anything by the time that has sold and another good example from the weekend um this quake big box pc game from this will be 90s won't it 96 again there we go these are becoming so collected now and this should be a comfortable 50 pounds as you can see it's it's got all of its contents it's in amazing condition and with an item like that that makes all the difference um, vintage PC big box stuff we say big box because it's a big box the actual uh, game itself is in a CD case inside why they chose to do massive great big cardboard boxes to put that in is beyond me um, but yeah that's a really good example as well so in conclusion is it worth buying and selling media on eBay for me yes it works it's about being selective it's about learning what sells and for me it's doing that so doing the the stuff that has the real value and then doing the common stuff and turning it over in bulk you get the best of both worlds there you get your bread and butter stuff and you get your few home runs and it just works for us i'm not trying to convince you that you should sell media if you enjoy it great you know you can learn about it and get into it it won't suit everybody i've been buying and selling media since my very first business i set up which was a record store back in 1998 so it's kind of in my blood and I enjoy it and that's half the battle for me drop a comment below let me know what you thought I will link a video here where I go into more detail about selling CDs specifically CDs on eBay and share some sales and stuff so take a look at that video thank you so much for watching this one I hope you enjoyed it take care and I'll see you soon